Hi hey guys, we're here today. I'm going to show you how to remove an exhaust off of an E39 um, 540. Those are the V8 ones. Um, this also works for V8 E34s, and this also will work for V8 E38s. And the similar concept will work on pretty much any V8 BMW. First thing you want to do is get the car in the air. Uh, I know most of you guys probably don't have a lift, but it's going to use the same process if you're using jack stands. You're going to want to jack the car up from all four places in order to get under it. You're gonna need to get it as high as you can um, safely. BMWs have jack pads um, at each corner. A lot of times they are missing. If it's missing, that is still the place you wanna jack it up from. You just might scratch it a little bit underneath there. So. So this is a 2002 540. So that means it is, has an M62TU, the TU standing for technical update. With the technical update, BMW added these primary cats here. Um, so then that made the exhaust only have uh, one pipe for each bank when it goes to the exhaust. If you have an earlier E39 or 740, um, E38 or an E34, you're gonna have two pipes on each side instead of just the single. So the later ones with the technical updated V8 is actually a little bit easier. Um, they are all the same size uh, studs though. So if they've never been replaced with bolts and it still has a stud in it, these are gonna be 12 millimeter. If you do happen to strip these out when they come out, the best way to do it, and, or you say you break the stud off, you're gonna wanna take a grinding wheel or cutting wheel and cut this into that just slightly. Um, and then you can, makes pounding the stud out way easier and you can either put a new stud in or just put a bolt and a nut in, which is what I would recommend. So that way if it breaks again, you don't have to pound it out. So coming further back, you have your secondary cats here with your secondary O2s. The O2s are housed in these things on both sides. It's a 10 millimeter plastic nut. You just pull that down. Um, I will be showing everything. I'm just talking about it first in case you're quick people and don't have to watch the whole video. Um, going farther back, uh, this has an aftermarket exhaust from here back, but if yours is factory, you'll have a big resonator here. Um, you have this mount here, there's two 13s on either side, and then take that down and you just leave that on the exhaust. Then when you get all the way back down here, yeah, this one is a little bit different. I can go show you on a different car, come with me. Okay, so this is an E38, so this has dual exhaust on it instead of just the single side. Um, but either way, on both sides of your muffler, you're gonna have these clamps that look like this. You can either take off this 13 mil and separate it from this like pinch weld thing on the muffler, or you can go all the way up to where those brackets mount, and you'll have a 13 there, and you'll have a 13 on the other side of it and you can just drop the whole bracket down. And those are also a stud with 13 millimeter. So I would recommend spraying the header studs with some sort of penetrating fluid. Um, PB Bosters, like what most people use. Uh, Kimball Midwest gives us products pretty cheap, so that's what I like to use. But just gives it a little better chance of not breaking. I recommend using an impact gun to remove everything on this because you're much have a much better chance of rounding or breaking without it. So, with one, it's literally that easy to remove the four nuts. There's been a lot of times it's not that easy, so if yours is not that easy, then yeah. Um, keep your hardware organized. The 12 millimeter nuts um, have the, are the same thread pitch and everything as the 13s. So just keep those separate so you put the, the 12s back in the headers. You can generally tell because they're super rusty. Whereas they are more rusty than the rest of them. If you have an earlier model E39, you actually will have clamps here that you can take off and then separate your exhaust into two pieces. Whereas the later ones are all one piece and all of the E38 ones are one piece. Oh, this also works for M5s. This is exactly the same stuff for M5s. Just you'd have another exhaust over here because they don't have a spare tire well. All right, so if you're doing this on a lift, I would definitely use a pull jack and a second person. If you're doing this on your back in your driveway, 
you don't necessarily need a second person, but I would use a, a floor jack to hold it up in different places so that it doesn't just slam down on you. If you don't use a pull jack on the lift, when you drop the back down, you have a tendency to bend these studs when you're trying to take them off, and then you have to break them all up and put new ones in. So these are the plastic nuts I was talking about. They're just plastic 10 millimeter nuts. And then you can just pull these down, and then inside of it is just that, and these just pull apart, and that's your O2 sensor. From the factory, they came with these little ties on the heat shield, so if yours are still there, it just bend them down a little bit and pull the wire out and then just leave it hanging. You're gonna leave this part of the O2 sensor on the exhaust. Then you got this center mounting brace here. It's four 13 millimeter bolts. So the four. Move to the back. Like I said, this one is a slightly different setup because of this uh, magnifold muffler that's been added to this one. Um, car will regularly have a muffler that almost fills up this entire area. That's all that holds up the exhaust. So then this is where having your buddy helps immensely. So we're gonna set you guys up on a tripod and you can watch us kind of lift and pull because sometimes it gets held up on the studs. Lower the pole jack slowly until we get about that much drop. And then have your buddy lift back up. Pull jack out of the way. And then you want to go as high as you can in the back while you pull down in the front. And that is an exhaust removed. That is an exhaust removed from an E39 540. Again, very similar to uh, E38 740, except with the E38, you're going to have dual mufflers and it's all one piece. Those ones are very heavy. And then also E34 540s are very similar to this setup. Um, if you need to go past this point, please click on this video and that will show you how to remove the transmission and everything that leads up to that.